Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage and welcome back to episode 73 of Europa Universalis for Azarabia. Apologies that it's been so long since I have put out an EU4 video between work and trying to get my CK2 campaign done. I admit that EU4 did fall behind the wayside. It's been a little bit um, neglected and I sincerely apologise for that, but... Let's try and get back on track and finish this campaign. Despite the fact that it's been a while since I have played it, I do vaguely remember what we were planning to do. So what we were planning to do was to go to war with Spain. Because I am trying to do a particular mission. Well, it's not a mission, it's a national decision, which is to unify Islam. And that requires us to get Cordoba, Messina, and... Are those the only ones that I need from you? Cordoba and Messina. So there's Messina there. Cordoba is over here, so I'll need to take Granada in order to get it. So we need three provinces from Spain, which can all be done. Uh, now, I do appear to be building up some ships. We're getting some transports because we might need to move some troops around. We're getting some attrition in a few places. You're on the move. That is fine. You are getting attrition there, which is unfortunate, but we really need to have somebody on the island there, so I can't do too much about that. Let's go ahead and unpause. And we want to get our armies all sort of in a position ready to deal with Spain. That is unfortunate, getting called into that at the moment. So this is our ally. Uh, let's pause up, actually. Our ally is requesting that we come to their aid. Um, war again. They're fighting against Russia. Now then, we have been at war with Russia before. I don't necessarily think Russia's going to be too much of a direct problem for us right now. But I think at the same time, we also need to go ahead and decline that. I really have my own war that I want to fight in, and I don't want to be getting involved with that right now. So, the plan is to go to war with Spain. Now, if I was to declare war on Spain directly, we'd be bringing a lot of people in here. So, what the original plan was, assuming that it hasn't changed, is we go and declare war on these guys because they are being guaranteed by Spain, and that just brings Spain in. We could even bring in Austria on our side. We do not need to. I'd actually forgotten there that I'd vassalized what was left of the Ottomans. I think I just recalled the... Um, Recalled the diplomat from there. Not that that diplomat can do an awful lot at this point. But that seems fine. But we're going to stay out of that war. We're getting some conversions done. Let's try and stay on top of these. So, how, how strong is Spain is the question we should be asking. Let's have a look at the military. Um, Spain has 120,000 men. So, they're quite a bit below their force limit. Uh, they already have 33 mercenaries and they've only got 50,000 manpower in the tank. We should be able to obliterate them. So I think we're about ready to, to get started with this. These are the heavies. The heavies are already over there getting ready to stop that. Um, how are we doing with these lights? I'd prefer them. Oh, they're all just they're grouped up, are they? Um, so these are transports, these are the heavies, these are the other transports that are down there, these are the lights and the, uh, the, right, so let's bring these lights over, put the navy together. So we're mainly going to be using these little group of transports if we need to get any more guys over here, I think we'll be fine. I am also, um, building up some troops over here with the look of things. Uh, is there a build queue here can i see not too sure are you up to your full strength that i've asked you to be uh move towards legalism or mysticism let's just stick with legalism um because i've taken you up to a to a larger stack seems weird that i'd have gone for an odd number not too sure if i've got anybody else training there it doesn't look like we are so that's probably fine right okay let's pause things up let's go ahead and stop guys from drilling because we want to make sure that we have um full morale when this starts i don't know where all of spain's troops are 
So we've got to be a little bit careful about that. You guys are taking attrition there. Let's go ahead and move you to a coastal province. Coastal provinces are always a little safer. Uh, we do have an army or two over here because we do want to get ready to attack these guys at some point. I think you can probably safely drill up as well. Uh, and of course we have the army down here because we'll need to deal with these guys. You're not drilling up but that is fine. So let's just wait until these armies have their full morale. We've got the heavies here together with the lights. That should be enough for us here to, to get around this. So yeah, we basically just need to get, get things uh, a little bit better. Uh, you have four maneuver. I'm not really going to be able to do an awful lot better than that. But we've certainly got the manpower to deal with it. So I, I, don't, I don't mind that one too much. So hopefully the war with Spain is going to be relatively straightforward. And we have a little autosave. One more month and we should be able to pull this off. Um, I'm probably not going to do... In fact, what I am going to do down here, I'm just going to very quickly grab a um, single infantry. And I'll just use him to siege out this stuff down here. We shouldn't have to worry too much about being attacked from this direction. Uh, we are almost in... There we go. Now, I don't think these guys have an army down here. Let's go ahead and hire ourselves uh, another infantry. Here, you can move in and grab that for us. Uh, now, obviously, Spain does have all of this stuff, so there is a possibility they might send some units up here to cause problems, but we'll deal with that when we come to it. So let's go in here and declare war. We do indeed bring in Spain. Um, let's bring Austria in, actually, because they might, they might cause a bit of a distraction, which is all we need them to do at best. Let's get you down there to siege out the capital. I don't think they've got a big enough army to warrant us actually needing to have a, uh, a, a general down there. You are going to move straight in to, um, no, you've got to go into Granada, unfortunately. Right, they do have a navy. Their navy does seem to have quarters there, so we need to get over hit over there before the navy can stop us. Yeah, our navy's actually coming off worse there. It's not really a surprise given the strength of the Spanish navy, but we got our troops across. That was the important thing. So how are things doing over here? We want to be in this province because we want to be the... We only need to take these. We don't even need to get across there. They are sieging one of our provinces. But do you know what? That's fine. Uh, France can have military access. I'm not too bothered about what they're doing. So yep, you go and siege that province out. That doesn't really mean an awful lot to me. You are going to start sieging... I didn't realise they had all these forts here actually. So you're actually a little bit useless right now. Let's go ahead and just disband you. We'll get the manpower back. Um, we might be able to get a force back across if need be. Also probably bring another force down if we needed to. We do have these guys over here. And we can probably march you all the way around. Yeah, it's a bit of a long walk, but we can certainly get you there. So Spain have occupied this. Well, it's only one province. So that's not a big deal. Let's go ahead also... Let's just break off a single infantry. And let's just have you come down and get the, both of those sieged out at the same time. So we really need to get this. I think I'm actually just going to go straight ahead and pay for the wall breach. Let's try and get this done as quickly as possible. It would be nice if we could... Um, we'll wait until these ships have repaired and we'll see if we can nip out and, uh, and blockade. Uh, it'll make that siege faster. Uh, great advisor has died. That is our military guy. Don't think we need the manpower. The reinforced speed would be nice. You are the right culture group. So what we could do. We've got plenty of money here. Um, are you not the right culture group? I thought you were. Oh. It'd be nice to have a plus three guy really. Same with our, um, <clears throat> with our admin guy. We could definitely get plus three. Well, how are we doing on tech? It's been a while since I played and I can't remember. So we are ahead on admin. We are about to just take some land, though. Um, let's let our missionary finish his current conversion. Um, both of these are going very slow. Let's let those current ones finish, I think. Uh, so we have gained that occupation there, as expected. We'll grab this one. We, they don't seem to have any ships around, so we might be able to march over there. That's fine. Here's their navy. 
Not too sure what they're doing with it. They just seem to be sailing around all over the place. Yeah, they're now causing a problem there, so I can't bring this navy out anymore. But that's fine. Don't even see where the rest of their army is. Looks like um, Austria's coming down here to help us out with this one. There's Spain's army over there. So they might be trying to head back home to reinforce, or maybe they're just going to go and attack Austria. Not too sure what's up with that. Uh, one thing I haven't done is I haven't paid much attention to what's going on down here. So here is the Spanish army. We were expecting that. Um, you guys have managed to get behind me. That's fine. We'll come and obliterate you later. Not too bothered about this stack. Surprised I don't have another army down here, actually. I thought that I did. Um... Could potentially bring those guys back, but it feels like a little bit of a waste of time. Now, Samarkand is what I basically need to take. Let me go ahead and just stop you guys from training up. Um, I'm a little bit concerned that you might possibly uh, jump on me with that rebel stack, and I'd prefer that not to happen. So you keep blockading there, that's fine. Can you move to Cadiz at all, or are you completely blocked? Oh no, you can move there. Okay, that's fine. Well... We might as well do that then. And go and get some um, go and get some additional blocks somewhere. We should try and just keep our eye on things. It won't take long to get that at all. I'm guessing you probably can't go anywhere else though, because you are blocked by the fort. Yeah. No, don't go via their ships. Um, or via any ships, in fact. So we're not too bothered about what uh, France is doing down here. We are losing the war a little bit at the moment, but that's okay. Now, Spain do have a three-star general down here, but we've also got Austria. So maybe we can come in and help with this one. I'm hoping that Austria would come in and help us. Because we are sort of really blocking them down into the corner. I can't get at them here, unfortunately. But now they're stuck. I mean, they can try and come across the water and attack us here. We could probably do with a better general, but we are in hostile territory. But they would be taking a pretty major crossing penalty. So how are things going down here? You're, you're just sitting in that one spot, which is fine by me. We have got this. So let's go down there and, and deal with their army. Um, looks like we've done some coring. So yeah, we've just we've just got to wait on this one. There isn't really much else we can do. And as much as I'd love to get an army back down here and grab some of this stuff, I think it's safer just to try and keep um, keep both armies together over here because we we never quite know what Spain is going to be up to. We have got oh they have, they have actually crossed over. They've crossed over down here and actually taken us on. And they're winning. I mean, they do have... Why Why do we have the terrain penalty? They don't have a crossing penalty. That is absolutely ridiculous. This is what I was worried was going to happen. But their main army down here is... Now, they are going to take the entire army out down here. We will have defensive terrain, but there's not really a lot we can do about it. All we can really do is... Uh, well, let's go up and smash that six stack for a start. All we can really do is wait for Austria to siege this out, and then we, we move down. You're not going to get away from that one, Sunshine. Taking out my army. Right, let's move back down there. So we just ha we have lost a major army. That was unfortunate. We are going to have to rebuild. So let's go ahead. Uh, I assume we were stack wiped. No, we weren't, actually. We are still a little bit alive. Not by much. Uh, what I might try and do... No, you're just going to chase me straight down. I can't get out of there. Um, actually, I can move over here, but I cannot get out because, because why is it the fort? Yeah, the fort's blocking us. I mean, they're probably just going to come over here and, and jump on me anyway once they've finished sieging that out. That's fine. Um, you're, wow, that's a lot of navies you've got right there, Spain. So yeah, we need Austria to come and, to come and help us once they've finished over here. So how do we deal with this? More Spanish troops down here. You're not doing an awful lot of damage. That's fine. We're taking that back. We need to move down here and attempt to, to catch their army out. It's a little bit difficult that we're, we're trying to watch this on like two separate places. 
Now you're probably going to try and come back over here. We are actually sieging here at the moment. Yeah, Spain's been a bit annoying down there, but there's not much I can do. I need to get these guys fully sieged out down here so that they can't... Um... Yeah, I need to get these guys fully sieged out, basically. Which mostly means I need to jump on their army, so let's try and get that done. Um, trade ideas, well we are still behind on tech and I'd like to get that caught up, so let's leave that for now. Spain, you just carry on being Spain. Can we actually get this army down here? I don't think we can now, we're no longer allied with um, Karasan, so that's a bit problematic. You guys haven't moved just yet. Um, if you'd like to hurry up with this siege, Austria, maybe get a wall breach or something, that'd be good. Um, Austria is fighting Spain up here. That's fine. I can't believe how slow this is going. This is going incredibly slowly. We do need to capture that fort, by the way, because th there's no way they're going to let us have it if we don't. Most of this land is worthless, so if they want to spend their time trying to capture that, fine, let them. So where are you guys heading? Are you moving in there? Yes, you are. It looks like we can catch their army. Now, I don't have a full... S I don't have a leader here. But that didn't appear to matter. Let's just go and split you guys up. And let's just try where we can and get a uh, get a full siege over here. If we can get them fully sieged out, stop them forming more units, we can get over there and deal with Spain, hopefully. Um, local defensiveness, useful. You guys get up there. Yeah, we'll try and siege all of this out really quickly. Uh, we only have a small stack here, but I think we can get... Mm, they are sieging us out. There's, there's, there's some annoying stuff going on, but we'll do what we can. Um, what are these guys doing? Did I get you together as part of being in some sort of army? I guess I did. I guess I was trying to build up a stack somewhere. Can't believe you guys still haven't got this yet, despite the wall breach. You guys aren't moving in to attack me yet. I'd sooner have... Well, I'm in hostile territory again. I'd sooner have a, be a better leader over here, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Okay, France are moving down here, because, you know, that's what I need. More attrition. Cheers, France. Right, where we got... Yes, finally. This is good. Right, we need to take Cordoba. Let's go and move in and start grabbing some other places. We need to start getting some war score over here. We don't actually need to take any of this stuff because we're not taking anything on this side. But we do need to take both of these provinces, especially the fort. So we, we are pretty reliant on Austria getting some progress on this siege. Meanwhile, uh, let's go back down here. The biggest problem we've got here is the ships because that's going to stop me from being able to get these guys back to the mainland. So you go down and siege that out. You go and siege that back. Yeah, we. Do, I mean, I do have some... What have they got here? They're mainly lights. In fact, where's my other trade fleet? Um, those... No, I must have... I've got lights somewhere. You guys. Get yourself down here. I'm going to help us out with this one. Um, yeah, you guys stay there for now. Austria's in some, like, really weird places. Um, you still haven't jumped on me yet. I'm expecting it to come. Do we pay for the wall breach? Let, let's do it. Let's pay, let's pay for the wall breach. We might get lucky and get, get it really quickly. And then we'd be the defender if those guys decided to jump on us again. It also means we'd be able to pick up a better leader. Which I'd quite like to happen. Um... So, yeah, being blockaded all over the place. We've got Cordoba, which we definitely want. Uh, let's move into Badajoz, because France are... France are just moving through, actually. Let's move into La Mancha. So, Spain do have some forces down here, but I don't think we really need to worry about them. Most of their forces seem to be struggling to deal with Austria up there. Let's just go ahead and grab these ones down here very quickly. Get as much of a siege as possible. Um... Our army here is actually now bigger. We still don't have the um, better leader. I mean, we might possibly be able to do that. If we were to go ahead and, say, just grab a unit and move you down here, he might just jump straight on the one stack, which is a possibility. Right, okay. Let's go and get you a leader. 
Who could we get? We could get you John, actually. John would be a good leader to have here. Let's go ahead and, and move you in. And then we want to... Hopefully merge you up and have the right leader in charge. Yeah, excellent. Okay, so we've got the better leader here now. Uh, John previously was um, hanging around in this army up here, which was preventing us from having some attrition. Uh, let's uh, let's move into there. That'll be fine. Samarkand we definitely need to get, though. Do we actually have a, um, a CB on you? I guess we don't need to because we've, um, we've got Imperialism anyway. So we can we can do that war quite easily. But what we really need to do... Yes, I'm quite happy with this now. We've got the bigger army here. Spain are a little bit stuck for reinforcements. I could attack them, but I'd sooner get this as defensive terrain first. So let's concentrate on getting the fort. Austria are making progress there. They'll soon be able to come and help us. You move in over there. You can't get up there. So you move into Toledo. You move down there. There we go. We're starting to get some sieges done. Looks like most of Spain's army is gone at this point. So things are not looking too good for Spain. We are losing some land down here. But again, it's not really all that important. So I don't really care. You're trying to block me down there. That is fine. Let's go and move everybody up here. We'll try and get them across on the transports. We might have to do it in two trips. But that is fine. Uh, we'll just go and land over here and start taking them from behind so that they've got no way to reinforce or no way to easily reinforce. Uh, let you dock up with the lights. Yeah, so you're taking stuff there, but it's not really worth anything. So that's fine. You you just carry on, son. 0% chance, but we might actually grab that fort. Still taking attrition here. Manpower is still close to max, though, so we don't have to worry too much. Come on, Austria. Yes, Austria got the siege. Great. I'm just going to march straight down, kill this one stack off, and unsiege this. Now, we still won't be able to reinforce, but it does give us a good opportunity to be able to... St well, we, we can stop their reinforcements. Um, let's just keep moving towards legalism. Somewhere has come under somewhere else's occupation, which is a little bit of a pain. How are things doing over here, guys? Let's group you all up. Let's group the navies together. Let's get you guys on the boat. And let's get the boats out here. And we're going to drop you off in, in this province just to really annoy Spain. Uh, they might just turn around and bring their armies back, which is fine. We'll fight them on our turf. You guys can't really do anything because they've got too many forts over here. So you're not really effective. So you guys just carry on and grab as much of this stuff as you can. I don't think Spain has any forces over here at all right now. Um, did all of your uh, armies manage to get away from us there? That's unfortunate. 21% chance that we're going to grab this. But I am going to end the video there because we are already at the 20 minute mark. Thanks a lot for watching guys. I hope you are still enjoying EU4. I'll see you on the next video and until then, goodbye for now.